Sean O'Hara, let's talk about your Trend Pilot ETFs because they made a pretty big splash last year. They actually won some awards this week over at ETF.com. And the first one that we're going to talk about is the Trend Pilot 750. This is the PTLC. It's Smart Beta Fund. Tracks the Wilshire U.S. Large Cap 750 Index. But what else does it do? What makes it so smart? Well, it's a trend following ETF. So the idea is to participate in rising markets and protect against falling markets. And we use a very simple methodology. We follow a 200 day simple moving average. If the index is above its moving average, we're 100% long. If it falls below, we go half out as a cautionary move. And if the moving average itself turns over and starts to go negative, that's the second negative trend, then we will go all the way to US Treasury bills. So the idea is pretty simple. Participate when the trend is your friend. Get out of the way when the market's going down. All right. You also have the Trend Pilot 450. And this is a mid cap yep. ETF. And the ticker is, I think it's PTMC. PTMC. All right. Let's hear about this one. Same story there. It's just, it's just a different asset class. It's mid cap stocks as opposed to large cap stocks, which, by the way, we sort of feel like is under owned. If you look at mid cap stocks over history, they do better than large cap and small cap with less risk than small cap. So. If you want to put a little extra return in your portfolio, mid-cap's a great place to do that. So here's my question about trend following. So how do you time the market? Because what if the market is going up while you're out? We don't try to time the market. What we think is what we do is risk management. So we always are susceptible excuse me, to being out at the wrong time or in when the market's going down because of the way things work. When we try to position what we do, we try to pair it with either a long, low-cost beta so that it kind of covers each other up, if you will, or a combination of low cost beta, some kind of an alpha ETF, you know, Wisdom Tree First Trust, that kind of stuff, and us. And when you put all of those things together in a portfolio for a large cap position or mid cap position, you get a portfolio that does better in up markets and better in down markets. You don't have to worry about whether one's working as well as it should that day. And, and that's how we deal with that. On Trend Pilot, or you can go on Autopilot. Now, you have a European ETF. This is the PAEU. Yes. So, uh, Tell me, oh, this one is a hedged ETF and it's dynamically hedged. Talk about this one. We launched the very first dynamically hedged currency product. The PAEU tracks the FTSE Euroblock index. Most hedged product, as you know, has been one-way hedged, so they're short the local currency, long the dollar. All things are cyclical, including currency, so currency will eventually, that trend will change. And rather than have to sell your hedged ETF to buy one that's not hedged when that happens, we built a, a dynamic hedging strategy underneath using moving average to determine whether we're hedged or not hedged. It's much more tax efficient for the end investor that way. All right. And then finally, um, speaking of trends, what's the trend like right now in U.S. stocks, in large cap? We've had a big bounce since mid-February. Should we trust that trend? Well, we believe in trend following, and I'll just tell you that we had the fourth consecutive day above the moving average yesterday. So if today goes, finishes above, then we'll go back to the 100% long position. So at least the trend is telling you that, at least directionally in the short run, prices are moving up. And, you know, if you look at that kind of an indicator over time, the 200-day moving average has been very, very reliable. So it's not always right, but very reliable. Thanks a lot, Sean O'Hara. Thank you. And thank you for watching Street.